Ladies and gents, game of friends, amigos, senpai, plebs, gather around. Check this out, man. One of a kind of gadget, futuristic. Only Inspector Gadget, yeah, usually has stuff like this. What is this? What do you think this is? Yeah, I'm serious. It's a scam detector. Yeah, it'll detect all the crypto scams and tell us exactly which one we should avoid. I kid you not. Check this out. All right. So, of course, it has this RS thing. All right. Check this out. Okay. So, if I take this closer to the, the token right here, if I take it closer to, like, let's say, Atom or something, all right, this is supposed to go up. Watch this. Wait, where is this thingy? No, oh, okay, here. F. Okay. GS and MF, right? Watch. I'm increasing the, the thingy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep, scam. Just detected a scam. Tau. It's pointing to Tau. Tau right here is a scam. Oh my god. Goodness, man. Anyways, just wanted to show you this real quick before we talk about what coins I hold, right? By the way, I was joking, yeah? This is not a scam detector. It's a spy detector. You can detect spy. Yeah. Like if someone's spying on your car or what do you call RFGS detector. Unbelievable, man. Can you imagine what stuff we have in this world? And since I deal with brands, they end up sending me some interesting stuff which I never knew existed. Anyways, ladies and gents, just a little sidetrack, I know. <laughs> but yeah, one of a kind. Let's talk real quick. I mentioned I'm going to do another video real quick. Just to tell you what I'm holding. Everybody thinks I'm a pleb. Nobody believes in my calls. Fine. There are people like Alex Becker says he lost $12 million in one of the previous videos. $12 million and you still follow dudes who lose $12 million? So you can lose everything else. How could you? How could you? All right, let's talk about it. All the tokens that I personally hold right now, okay? So clearly, you know, I like to play with Osmosis Zone. Let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, not now. Doesn't make sense. Osmosis Zone, Kepler, usually. So I have some Atom staked. Okay, this is clear cut, full transparency. I played with a lot of Pika, this, that kind of didn't add up to me. So as of now, I'm not buying anything, okay? But however, I'm paying attention and that's about it. So I'm staking Atom, some Juno, which is stuck at so low level. I'm not staking any more um, Eve Moss. I have some Eve Moss on the, as a li liquid, okay? Not staking it. I used to have stake at one point, not staking. So Akash is my top one, highest holding so, so far in, in Cosmos ecosystem. I'm staking Akash, which is giving me decent so-called APR. Um, and I take out the rewards. I transfer over to crypto.com, basically I convert it to Osmo, transfer to crypto.com and then sell it and take it out in the bank and then pay my credit card. Yes, that's how I do the staking thing. And I'm not joking. Sometimes it ends up, you know, you can get 50 to hundred dollars depending on how much you're staking. Anyways, putting that aside, Akash, uh, Atom, Osmo, some Osmo, Juno, which is sad. And I have another one, which is um, Stars. Stars is the Stargaze, the marketplace, NFT marketplace on Cosmos, man. Has some decent hope, but if you look at Stars right now, everything is pretty much down beside Akash. And uh, I am just taking the rewards. I'm not compounding. I, I, like I mentioned, all of these, I'm just going to I claim it once in a while. Uh, and then I convert it to Osmo, send it over, cash out. Uh, but I'm, I'm still staked on this side. That's it. And I have some Eve like I mentioned. That's about it, okay? That's my clear cut on... Right now, I consolidate, uh, consolidated quite a bunch of stuff because there's no point holding $10 worth of this, $20 worth of that. And that's exactly what I have. And on crypto.com, I liquidated a bunch of memes. Didn't make sense to me. I have some SHIB maybe, maybe a little bong, but I, I got rid of most of them. Just have a tiny amount for, for the sake of it. And everything is pretty much down because we are supposed to buy when it's down. Not when everything's pumping, we get excited. Oh, you know what? This guy's the pump. It probably go up, then we can sell that it doesn't go up <laughs> anyways and in the stock market all right let me be honest since i just told you let me see i have a viable account but i don't play with it as much i will discuss that later oh wait why am i on crypto so in the stock market this is exactly what i hold all right let me name it i don't have tesla i had one i sold it at 260 or something that's one and I just have a different take on Tesla, which I'll talk about later. Apple, okay? So I have Google, Amazon, some AMC, which I hope it goes up so I can cash. 
Apple. I have Argo blockchain, which is garbage. Don't worry about it, okay? AITX, artificial intelligence, just totally dis destroyed. Charles Webb. I don't know why I have some GME, mind medicine. But these are really meme, okay? GME is a different story. Nokia. Again, I got Nokia way back, which doesn't make sense to me. PayPal. And that's about it. I have a little bit of a Bitcoin ETF, tiny. Just, I, I did it when ETF were, was first approved. I just wanted to buy just to sh show my audience that it actually works. So again, Google, Amazon, these are all the top tier ones. I'm going to get into other stuff, which I discussed, Pinterest and whatnot later. Right now, I'm not in a rush. Even Microsoft, I'm looking at Microsoft. And did you see some... Do you see something interesting? Look at Chewy, price of Chewy, and look at GME. Both are literally trading at the same price, like in a way. What, what is happening? 26, 26, and what happened to Roaring Kitty? Like, brah, are you into pumping this? So, yeah, that's all I have, basically. And in the other side, the precious metal, I have some silver. I have a lot more silver than gold. Tiny amount of gold, but I have a lot of silver. And that's it. Okay? I have probably a tiny amount of platinum as well. Who knows? <laughs> Ladies and gents, that's all I have for you. But before I end, let me show you something real quick here. There's one huge dude here. Huge dude. Huge dude. Oh, whoa. What is this? Brian. So look at this here. I'm fixing my Discord. So he offered me, Brian Jung offered me a lifetime membership on his Discord. And this guy, he has a YouTube channel with almost a million subs or something, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. But he hasn't posted for quite some time, I guess. 1.86 million. Oh, whoa. Three weeks ago. Oh, wow. He actually posted three weeks and two months back. Whoa. Yo, look at this, man. 700,000, 400,000. That's huge. So anyways, yeah, I was just communicating with him. Kind of uh, like my some of my video, which is awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. He offered me a lifetime thing. So I, I forgot about it because my Discord is a little messy. And once I fix it, set it up, then I'll probably get on his thing and see what he talks about. I want to make some money, man. And this guy has a lot of stuff. And also, we live in the same state, Virginia. He's not probably far away from me. So he says, I just got an office in Reston, Virginia as well a few days ago. That's awesome, man. If you ever uh, connect more, let me know. I'm not sure how far is it from you. I'd be more than happy to connect on a call too. Keep up the good work, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, so ladies and gents, stay tuned, okay? Once I get into the Discord, if I can make some money, mm, then we can discuss about it. Because right now, there are only tiny few. <laughs> I'm not going to follow any of those... Uh, influencers I called out, they're going to, again, take me down the drain. Rather actually see what some of these dudes have, right? And on the other side, hold on. Yeah, this is there. Oh, Noah Kagan, man. Good old Noah Kagan. Yeah, remember I just called out Hormozy because Noah asked two questions to Hormozy. He said, How, what did Hormozy act, like, acquire? Like, his company acquired. He doesn't say that. And just talks about the money, money, money. Okay, I get it. But how, where did the money come from? And what did you acquire? Then we can discuss, right? other stuff anyway and there was another guy actually I'm, i literally sent him <laughs> hey man love the content i also have tons of stories about fake gurus from e-commerce to dating to self-help youtube automation he says he has um last seven years he has a youtube channel i started my journey exactly uh, doing free shipping mm, yeah man a good old free shipping days shopify right made a bunch of money when i was 20 but stopped doing that because i saw filthy it was all worse yeah, I mean, sometimes when you do certain things because you, the gurus teach you that and you find out it's kind of dirty, not fulfilling, you have to question, right? Oh, we follow all the top level gurus. But at the same time, when you find out that they're actually doing something, you know, outlandish and you're like, I can't relate to that. If they're scamming, I have to scam in order to make it just like them. So when I see it's not, it's, it doesn't align our views or whatever, I'd rather f find someone, you know, whose views align with mine. <laughs> Anyways, I hope... These guys are decent enough. But regardless, why I'm showing you this, I have a small YouTube channel where I posted videos about coding, 400 subs. I would love to chat about my stories with you. So, so you seem like a cool guy. Thanks, man. And I try my best to respond to whatever, you know, I can. But I don't really check DMs. And I'm a very solo guy right now, like Sigma mentality. I operate solo level, barely communicate. And th that's why I can show you whatever I, you know, nothing to hide, to be honest. And uh, yeah, but there are some personal stuff which I can show because of them they don't want me to like you know privacy issues whatever but i have nothing you know i have no issues i'm thinking about reviving my the the podcast okay like a season two that's when i feel like that's when i can hang out with you know you all whoever wants to hang out 
if you start something you want to have a conversation i can actually discuss over a podcast and literally record it and put it on my yeah youtube all right the rebel podcast rbl podcast that would be fun actually all the small tier youtubers whoever wants to actually you know reach out to me instead of like wasting time i would rather record that whole conversation you know because it could be useful and then upload it on the youtube so others can benefit from it but that's an interesting concept because most people just bring all the top big dudes nobody wants to focus on the struggles of the smaller ones right i mean that would be an interesting concept honestly anyways let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah this is these are the only crypto i hold right now i'm not by the way i forgot to mention oh last but not the least i have some chain link okay i bought chain link way back around one dollar one dollar eighty cents range i wish i sold when it went out of 50 Ugh, never mind let's not discuss that i still have some decent amount of chain link and i have some bdc and i have a tiny amount of um eth because that's a gas fee for link and these are the stuff i hold like ledger okay no exchanges and the cosmos i just discussed which i stake so cosmos i stake some bdc and some you know link and I, that's it i have nothing else yep no avax no super farm no ponzi nothing no mm finance nothing all right but things may change in the future who knows so ladies and gents again this is your host rbl which actually stands for rebel thanks for your time and uh, i'll see you in the next vid